of Vopakir Jainul Abdin Abdul Kalam, better known as APJ Abdul Kalam, was an illustrious scientist turned statesman who served as the 11th President of India from 2002 to 2007. Kalam spent more than 40 years as a science administrator and scientist mainly at the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, and Defense Research and the Development Organization, DRDO. He was closely associated with the military missile development efforts and civilian space program of India. For his work on launch vehicle technology and development of ballistic missile, he was given the pseudonym of the Missile Man of India. In 1998, he played a prominent role in Pakran II nuclear tests. In 2002, he was elected the 11th president of the country and became widely known as the People's President. After serving his presidential term he pursued what he loved most, teaching, writing and reading. For his achievements and contributions as a scientist, he was honored with the Bharatratna Award, India's highest civilian honor. He left for the heavenly abode on July 27, 2015, while delivering a lecture at the Indian Institute of Management, IIM, Shillong. He was laid to rest with full state honours and his funeral was attended by thousands of people including national level dignitaries. Early Life APJ Abdul Kalam was born into a poor Tamil Muslim family in the pilgrimage town of Ramswara, Tamil Nadu, on October 15, 1931. His mother, Ashiyama, was a housewife and his father, Jainulabdeen, was an imam of a local mosque and a boat owner. He was the youngest in the family with four elder brothers and a sister. Though, the family was not financially affluent yet all the children were raised in an atmosphere that was full of love and compassion. In order to add to the family's income, Kulam had to sell newspapers during his early years. He was an average student during his school, but possessed a strong desire to learn and was very hard working. He loved mathematics and spent hours studying the subject. He pursued his education from Schwartz Higher Secondary School, and then graduated from St. Joseph's College, Tiruchirappalli, in 1954. He wanted to become a fighter pilot but his dream could not be fulfilled as here were only eight positions available in the IAF and he secured the ninth place. Career As a Scientist In 1960, he graduated from the Madras Institute of Technology, and joined as a scientist at the Aeronautical Development Establishment, after becoming a member of the Defense Research and Development Service. Kalam also worked under the eminent space scientist Vikram Sarabhai while he was a part of INCASPAR committee. Kalam was transferred to the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, in 1969. He became the project head of the country's foremost satellite launch vehicle, SLV-3. In July 1980, SLV-3 deployed the Rohini satellite successfully near Earth orbit under Kalam's leadership. Kalam was a part of a number of projects, including Project Devil, in 1970. Though the project was not successful, yet it laid the foundation for the development of the Prithvi missile, in 1980. He was also associated with Project Valiant. In 1983, Kalam returned to DRDO as its chief as he was asked to lead the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, IGMP. In May 1998, he played a key role in carrying out Porcoran II nuclear tests by India. The success of these nuclear tests made Kalam a national hero and his popularity went skyrocketing. As a technical visionary, he made several recommendations in the fields of technological innovations, agriculture, and nuclear energy to make India a developed nation by 2020. Homepage Uncategorized Of Vopakir Jainulabdin Abdul Kalam, better known as APJ Abdul Kalam, was an Indian scientist and statesman who served as the 11th President of India. SA Uncategorized APJ Abdul Kalam APJ Abdul Kalam 11th President of India, July 25, 2002, July 25, 2007 Date of Birth, October 15, 1931 
Place of Birth, Rames Warham, Ranmad District, Madras Presidency, British India. Parents, Jain Lubdeen, Father, and Ashiyama, Mother. Spouse, Remained Unmarried. Education, St. Joseph's College, Tiruchirappalli, Madras Institute of Technology. Profession, Professor, Author, Scientist. Died, July 27, 2015. Place of Death, Shillong, Meghalaya, India. Awards, Bharat Ratna, 1997, Padma Vibhushan, 1990, Padma Bhushan, 1981. Of Vopakir Jainulabdeen Abdul Kalam, better known as APJ Abdul Kalam, was an illustrious scientist turned statesman who served as the 11th President of India from 2002 to 2007. Kalam spent more than 40 years as a science administrator and scientist mainly at the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, and Defense Research and the Development Organization, DRDO. He was closely associated with the military missile development efforts and civilian space program of India. For his work on launch vehicle technology and development of ballistic missile, he was given the pseudonym of the Missile Man of India. In 1998, he played a prominent role in Pakhran II nuclear tests. In 2002, he was elected the 11th president of the country and became widely known as the People's President. After serving his presidential term he pursued what he loved most, teaching, writing and reading. For his achievements and contributions as a scientist, he was honored with the Bharatratan Award, India's highest civilian honor. He left for the heavenly abode on July 27, 2015, while delivering a lecture at the Indian Institute of Management, IIM, Shillong. He was laid to rest with full state honours and his funeral was attended by thousands of people including national level dignitaries. Photo credit, www.thatalentedindian.com web link. Photo credit, www.thatalentedindian.com web link. Early life. APJ Abdul Kalam was born into a poor Tamil Muslim family in the pilgrimage town of Ramswaram, Tamil Nadu, on October 15, 1931. His mother, Ashiyama, was a housewife and his father, Jainulabdeen, was an imam of a local mosque and a boat owner. He was the youngest in the family with four elder brothers and a sister. Though, the family was not financially affluent yet all the children were raised in an atmosphere that was full of love and compassion. In order to add to the family's income, Kalam had to sell newspapers during his early years. He was an average student during his school, but possessed a strong desire to learn and was very hard working. He loved mathematics and spent hours studying the subject. He pursued his education from Schwartz Higher Secondary School and then graduated from St. Joseph's College, Tiruchirappalli, in 1954. He wanted to become a fighter pilot but his dream could not be fulfilled as here were only eight positions available in the IAF and he secured the ninth place. Career As a scientist In 1960, he graduated from the Madras Institute of Technology, and joined as a scientist at the Aeronautical Development Establishment after becoming a member of the Defense Research and Development Service. Kalam also worked under the eminent space scientist Vikram Sarabhai while he was a part of INCASPAR committee. Kalam was transferred to the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, in 1969. He became the project head of the country's foremost satellite launch vehicle, SLV-3. In July 1980, SLV-3 deployed the Rohini satellite successfully near Earth orbit under Kalam's leadership. Kalam was a part of a number of projects, including Project Devil, in 1970. Though the project was not successful, yet it laid the foundation for the development of the Prithvi missile, in 1980. He was also associated with Project Valiant. In 1983, Kalam returned to DRDO as its chief as he was asked to lead the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, IGMP. 
In May 1998, he played a key role in carrying out Porcran II nuclear tests by India. The success of these nuclear tests made Gillam a national hero and his popularity went skyrocketing. As a technical visionary, he made several recommendations in the fields of technological innovations, agriculture, and nuclear energy to make India a developed nation by 2020. Photo credit www.nakarnama.com web link photo credit www.nakarnama.com web link as president in 2002 Kalam was chosen the presidential nominee by the ruling National Democratic Alliance NDA and he was elected the president he became the 11th president of India on July 25, 2002 and served the position till July 25, 2007. He also became the third president of India to have received Bharat Ratna before assuming the office of the president. Due to his style of working and interaction with common people, especially the youth, he was affectionately called the people's president. According to Dr. Kulam, the most arduous decision he had taken during his tenure was that of signing the Office of Profit Bill. During his tenure as president, he faced criticism for his inaction in deciding the fate of mercy petitions that were submitted to him. Out of the 21 mercy petitions, he acted only on one mercy plea. In 2005, he recommended for president's rule in Bihar, which also became a controversial decision as an academician. After the end of his presidential term, he became a visiting professor at the Indian Institute of Management IIM, Ahmedabad, Indian Institute of Management IIM, Indore, and the Indian Institute of Management IIM, Shillong. He served as a professor of aerospace engineering at Anna University, as chancellor at the Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology through Vananthapuram an honorary fellow of Indian Institute of Science, ISK, Bangalore, and an adjunct at a number of other research and academic institutes across the country. He also taught technology at Anna University, and Banaras Hindu University, and taught information technology at the International Institute of Information Technology, IIIT, Hyderabad. With a aim to defeat corruption and bring efficiency, Kalam launched a program for the youth called What Can I Give Movement, in 2012. Awards and Achievements Kalam was honored with the prestigious Bharatratan, Padma Vibhushan, and Padma Bhushan from the Government of India. He was bestowed upon the Indira Gandhi Award for National Integration by the Government of India in 1997. He was the recipient of Veer Savarkar Award. In 2000, he was bestowed with Ramanujan Award by the Hours Research Center. In 2007, he received the King's Charles II Medal from the Royal Society. The Azam Foundation, USA, honored Kalam with the Hoover Medal. He also received honorary doctorate from 40 universities. The United Nations recognized Kalam's 79th birthday as World Students' Day. In 2003 and 2006, he was nominated for the MTV Youth Icon of the Year. Death Kalam went to M. Shillong to deliver a lecture on creating a livable planet Earth, on July 27, 2015. While climbing a flight of stairs, he expressed some discomfort, but made his way to the auditorium. Only five minutes into the lecture, around 6.35 p.m. IST, he collapsed in the lecture hall. He was taken to Bethany Hospital in a critical condition. He was kept in the intensive care unit but lacked signs of life. At 7.45 p.m. IST, he was declared dead due to cardiac arrest. Kalam's body was airlifted in an Indian Air Force helicopter and was flown to New Delhi on July 28. Numerous dignitaries and masses paid homage to him at his residence at 10 Rajaji Margaret Kalam's body, wrapped in the national flag, was then flown to the town of Mandapam, from where an army truck took it to his hometown of Rameswaram. His body was displayed at Rameswaram in front of a bus station to allow people to pay their last respect to the departed soul. 
On July 30, 2015, the former president was laid to rest with full state honors at Rames Warum's Pakram Boo Ground. Kalam's last rites were attended by more than 350,000 people. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel and share it with friend as a paying tribute to Mr. APJ Abdul Kalam. This is the only official channel of ISRO. This video is made by the STARS Biography for Indian Space Research Organization. For this video is reserved by the STAR Biography.